line six, chemical composition. And I wanted to talk about the concept of counting by mass, since that's the way we count atoms and molecules, uh, counting by mass rather than counting them individually. And that's, of course, because they're way too small. And uh, the, my analogy is to how to count by mass is we're going to do some counting nails by mass. And uh, hopefully that will make a little bit more sense as to why we can count atoms by mass and molecules. I've got a scale here, put it right there. Um, I've got uh, some nails, a little box of nails here. And I've got a Tupperware dish. Uh, this is my second attempt at this video, so I weighed my Tupperware dish before, um, but I'm gonna have to weigh it again. And uh, so you know your scale is working correctly when it's got this little dot there and it's going 0, 0.00. So I put that on. And let me see, there, move that over a little bit. Uh, like up there, semi. 11.38 grams. Same mass. Uh, oh, moved a little bit there, 11.37. But well, you can see there's a little error in that last digit uh, just by the fact that the scale has that error in that digit. Um, there it goes back to the eight. Well, we'll call it close enough. Um, all right, and uh, I write this down, the mass of the dish, because sometimes my scale turns off and I wanna make sure I know what's going on. All right, and so I've got some nails. These are two and a half inch by 0 0.113 inch uh, exterior galvanized nails, and I'm just going to weigh one. So I'm going to put the zero, let the little circle come back, and then weigh it. And this nail is 3.51 grams, and so please write that down on your page. And then I'm going to weigh uh, one difference between nails and atoms is that atoms of the same kind all weigh the same. So these will be a little different. Let's see. 3.55. Nail number two. I'm going to try and weigh them in the same way, so in the same place in my little weigh boat. 3.48. I'm going to do five just to get a good average. We like good statistics. We always need to weigh at least three to get a standard deviation, which we're going to do. And 3.55. And my grams are at the top, so I don't need to write them every time. Though it's still tempting. I'm waiting for my scale to get to zero again. All right, put that nail there. 3.55, so that's my fifth one. Let me write that down. All right, and then I'll turn my scale off. I'm gonna put all five nails in there. And we can go ahead and do an average in standard deviation. So 3.51 plus 3.55 plus 3.48 plus 3.55 plus 3.55. 17.64 divided by 5, I get 3.528, which we're going to round to two uh, decimal places, 3.53 grams. And we could do a standard deviation, actually, but we don't need to because the average, um, because what this is telling us is that the average nail has a mass of 3.53 grams. And we are going to turn that into a conversion factor in much the same way you could do for atoms if you could do this one at a time, because it's really 3.53 grams per nail, which of course we know can be 3.53 grams of nail per one nail as well. So there we've got our unit conversion factor and now I'm gonna use a slightly different scale here because that first scale, while more accurate and precise, doesn't hold a whole lot. So, let's move 
that out of the way. Uh, now let's put this on. We'll put it in grams and we'll tear it. And then I'm going to put a whole bunch of nails in here. And let's see how that works. So now we have 299. Oop, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Sort of. 299.2 grams of nails. And that's going to be on our second page. How many nails are there in 299.2? grams of nails and uh, grams is going to be our mass unit and nails are going to be sort of equal to our uh, atoms in this case so we know that we're given is 299.2 grams of nails and our conversion factor is 3.53 grams of nail for one nail And let's see how many nails we have in that little holder there. So 299.2 divided by 3.53. We have 84.76 nails. And that's too many sig figs. I should go back to three because I only have three right here. So 84.8 nails. Now, and the analogy is not perfect, um, but um, because we can only really have uh, a whole number of nails, so I am going to round it to 85 nails. And now I'm going to pause the video and actually count them and see how we did. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it turns out there are exactly 85 nails in there. Each of these is a group of 10. So we have eight groups of 10, and then we have uh, five nails left over here. So uh, this is an analogy to counting by mass. You can count small things, even nails, or big things even, um, by taking the mass of one of them, using it as a unit conversion factor, and then uh, using the mass that you get off of a scale of a lot of them. So uh, hopefully this is proof of concept and then a little bit more about uh, of an understanding about how we count by mass.